Hello there cookies, welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking. Well, the other day I came across this video. Now you need to look at the face of this Italian chef. Check this out. What mushroom? Uh, I... There is no mushroom. No, there is no mushroom in there, but this is the traditional one. Really? Are you putting mushroom? I, mushroom and... You're not gonna like this, but I have a dollop of salad cream on the side. <laughs> gonna be honest, anything with mints. Lasagna, shepherd's pie, uh, chili con carne. Che schifo. But che schifo. I don't want to know what you just said. C'è due che mia nonna ha fatto 30 anni fa e ci va a mettere un uh, cazzi sour cream sopra. This is what is wrong uh, uh, with this country. <laughs> this is what is wrong with this country. <laughs> All we're okay. doing is taking but something it traditional really, and I know, adapting I'm not saying it. it's traditional, but yes, I will always adapt, ask for it in the restaurant if I, you know. Don't adapt anything. Do I come here and adapt the things that you do? Yes. Have you ever seen me adapting a chef's pie? He's so angry, Have you ever seen me adapting me one of your uh, uh, banger and mash, whatever you call them? <laughs> I don't adapt anything. I stick with the plan. <laughs> stick with the plan. Gino is showing us how to make a bolognese sauce. Let's check the ingredients. First of all, we got olive oil. Mm -hmm. Then we got what do we call it sofrito, celery, onions, and carrots chopped up finely. Then we got red wine, the alcohol. Then we got milk. Milk? Full fat. Nah, milk is tenderized the meat. Well, usually ragu is obtained by using beef and pork together. This mix is very good. I've tried it before. It's so, so good. But some people even use lamb. And the lamb's meat is quite fat. And therefore, together with the pork meat is, is a perfect combination according to this chef. And um, I've never tried it before, but maybe you know one day I'll try it. Then we have a, a beef stock, or you can use chicken stock, passata, sin mm -hmm. tomato, tomato concentrate. Well, stock. Then again, stock. Well, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't use it. Why? Because I tend to use stock when I prepare my stew. I made this Japanese stew. Check the video out. I'll put a link in the description below, it's a very cool video. And in that case, yes, the stock is very good, but I, I just can't imagine like to use stock when preparing a normal tomato sauce, you know what I mean? Probably they put too much stress on him and so he had to hurry up and do things like not in the proper way. I stick with the plan, <laughs> stick with the plan. Well, I cannot blame the chef because they gave you only six minutes, and six minutes are not enough for making a ragu and to show how to make a sauce. I still cannot detect what's inside the saute, as I think there's a little bit of mince in between uh, carrots and celery and so forth. So it's showing us all the process. Now it's adding a little bit of wine. For to evaporate. Right. Wine, what is feeling? Uh, it's are you cleaning up? up? A little bit of alcohol. And it's a good choice because it gives a little bit of taste. So the alcohol evaporates and the taste, the flavor, it's so good. So that's a good choice. You, I stick with the plan. <laughs> stick with the plan. What does the milk do to the meat? Well, I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this. I wouldn't put milk with my mince, with my you know, ragu. I wouldn't ever mix it together. I don't think it's a good choice. But I, I really don't know it because I've never tried it before. But I wouldn't suggest you guys to try it. Oh, I thought that was it the... It tenderizes. tenderizes. It yeah. tenderizes. So what you do, you put a little bit of uh, milk in there. Okay. Sieve tomato goes in there. And then we got tomato concentrate. Very important. This gives color, extra flavor. Right. Okay. Then again, tomato concentrate is a great, great, great ingredient. But I would use it for other recipes. And, and we have some cool Cicino recipes and I will make it. Right now, I'm on a diet, that's crazy. I haven't been able to cook much. All the dietetic food, not good, not good. Well guys, please remember to support me on Patreon. Why would you need to support me on Patreon? Well, it's really easy. I'm gonna put some extra content in there. I have a diet, I'm working on it. I'll make a video where I'll show you all the steps you need to take if you wanna uh, dieting. Of course, I'm not a doctor, but, but I still have a lot of experience and I can help you out losing weight. If you become a patron today, I will, I will not only make a video about diet, I will not only show you like my personal diet, but I will help you make your own diet if you wish for free. Of course, only with one dollar, two dollars, whatever you want to donate, feel free to do it. That's going to help me a lot. 
Well guys, thank you so much for watching and remember, if you stick to the plan, there's no reason to run, so you better call us up and have fun. Bye bye! <laughs>